congregate. <laughs> you still do, right? <laughs> yes, this is um, when we used to have A&S downtown. <laughs> These are my sons and this is my group right here. <laughs> they make my tribe, my, my beautiful tribe. See, I look kind of lonely here with all the fellas, but I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. This is before children, <laughs> this one was after. <laughs> and this is me as a grandma. <laughs> and these are my youngest grandchildren. As you can see, this one here, yeah, she act like me. <laughs> I can't help it. Y'all just bring out the best of me. <laughs> Charles. He was 14 uh, when he started weightlifting. He was a great child to have. Yes, uh, Special Olympics, you know. I carried him up and down stairs, you know, for 16 years. He passed three years ago. You're a healthy family. This is my family right here around the table. You know the girls, we're here. And uh, we just stay together, you understand me? And in the long run, I think I'm a better person because I believe in helping somebody uh, each and every day to give something of myself. These are my grandparents. My grandmother name is Ethel Epps. And my grandfather name is Milton Epps. This is Mifu, Virginia. This is the day they got married. It was like in their 20s. So it was like 1920s. 
1940, we all started from right here. This is my mother. And this is um, her brother. And this is my father and my aunt. His name is Clarence Floyd. He was from South Carolina. And um, he moved to New York, and that's where he met my mother in Fort Green Projects, where a lot of my family is from. Fort Green. This is um, me in the middle, my son, my younger sister, my cousin, and my other cousin. You know, we all stay together. We're all so close. And everything like that. This is me when I was a little kid. This was also done in um, A and S. This is my old album. As you can see, it's turning yellow right there. <laughs> the memories. I can't even believe half these pictures how I looked. And at the end of the day, this is family, and I love I love them so much. This is about the youngest health advocate and how she came into my life. Kwanzaa came in my life at a very depressing time for me. And I was offered the opportunity to raise Kwanzaa. She's my husband's niece. It was during the time I had just had surgery. I couldn't walk. I felt isolated. I felt handicapped. And Kwanzaa came and said, no, you're not. You're going to run around and chase after me. <laughs> <laughs> and Kwanzaa worked and did health advocacy work. Yeah. And she got an award and a certificate. She really worked and showed what a strong young woman she was. And she makes me proud. <laughs> But this is the blessing God gave me, the opportunity to raise another child. <laughs> you see a difference? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we ate our, our four girls and four boys. This is my parents, my mom and my dad. Now they've been married for 56 years. Wow. I'm so blessed to have my parents alive. They got the aches and pain with us. We got, we got them. Mm -hmm. This is my mom. We all have grandchildren, so there was more. That was this picture was on uh, 1997 Christmas. For mm -hmm. this is my my daughter Karen and nine pounds 14 ounces brother. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Honduras. I came to New York in 1979. My father brought me here. I was working to help my father bring all my siblings and my mom to New York. Yes. And we did it. We accomplished it. And all of them are here. And it's a bless. It's a bless. She wasn't born here, uh -huh. so this is her. This is my high school picture when I graduated from high school and uh, Prospect Heights High School in 1972. This is a picture of my mother and my youngest daughter and her son, uh, one of my mother's last days before she passed in the nursing home. And this is my father with his brothers and his sister. These pictures were taken um, at the repast when my mother passed away. These are my children now. These are pictures I decided. I had went to my one of my aunt's house in like 2008 and she was showing me a lot of family portraits. And I, I didn't see any of 
uh, like the, my, my father and his siblings all together, none of the grandchildren together. I decided to put the pictures together with my family. So we have memories of families together. Yes, here we go. <laughs> this is Cousin Billy. <laughs> when we first met, he was white. So when I, I said, you're not related to me. <laughs> Cause you're white. <laughs> and he said, yes I am. <laughs> we have Irish in our family, we have white people in our family, we have African American people, and we have Indian people in our families. I'm the baby out of two girls from my mommy and daddy. This is me. I'm the fat baby on daddy's lap and my sister Pamela. This is my mom right here. My mom's name was Lois. She was a, a registered nurse at Lutheran Medical Center here in Brooklyn. Look alike, a lot. Miss a lot. That was the day she learned how to drive. This was in Mobile, Alabama. And this is me when I was little. This was in Montgomery, Alabama, and um, 1974. I remember getting bit by a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> and my face blew up. Then I kept saying, I hate going down south. I hate going down south. But ever since I was little, I love it. You know, I tell my kids about it all the time. I have three boys, one girl. She's a princess. They all begin with T's. Tarshane, Tarshanik, Terry, and Tyrese. I have a sister, older sister, and she has one son, Rodney. So I basically raised him, you know, after my mother had to work so much, I was the only one in the household basically, a teenager, 13, I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> and this is a trip with him, with Miss Edna's apple picking with the Bethel Daycare Center. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, we're going to make some apple pies and we're going to get it on. I have four children, and I have eight grands and five great grands. And I, have been, I was the only child, so my mother said, my God, from you I got so many, you know, so she was happy. Yeah. I grew up on Orange Street between 34th Avenue, and from there I lived on Burger Street, and from there, I went to Gowanus and met my Gowanus family. And Mrs. Sutherland and I became friends and were like sisters. And she and I uh, were active in the community. And we participated in keeping the school open. Citywide, the schools were shut down in 1968. A teacher was brave enough to cross the picket line. And we went into the school and we slept there until the strike was over. They were fighting for a contract and we were fighting for education of our children. But we were young and strong and we didn't scare so easy. Another program in the summer we would have youth employment program. They always gave me the toughest group to work with. <laughs> I was the remedial teacher, a graduation, and a disco combined. I was recruited to be a teacher at Bethel Baptist Daycare Center, which was previously closed after 41 years of mm -hmm. service. Yes. Yes. Um, Sad. All our children went there. Uh, yes. <laughs> There were a lot of activities for the kids, mm -hmm. uh, which is something that's missing now. Yeah. I always tell people it's been a good journey.